Hey, what's up guys? Have had some folks ask me to show you all, do a video, and show you guys what we carry as far as tools and supplies when we go out riding. So, I'll show you what we have in this machine and what we carry over here, and we'll uh, we'll set it out on this table. So, all right, let's get started. We'll we'll get in here first, and then we'll go through what's on the uh, what I carry. I don't really have anything in this bag that that goes all the time. I'll put a cooler in here and our our cooler for our food, you know, and our drinks and what's that say, 12.3. But I do I do put my uh battery charger for my cameras in here and keep them charged while riding. Uh so in here Now, this is stuff that goes all the time on all of our trips. One thing, an extra pair of goggles. You never know. Typically, I ride with um, sunglasses on. I have riding sunglasses, like for motorcycles on the street. But and once in a while, if it's really dusty, I'll put, I'll put goggles on. Uh, first aid kit. Obviously, you need a first aid kit. I don't know if we've ever used it, to be honest with you, but I guess that's a good thing, right? To never need your first aid kit. Um, it's your typical band-aids, insect sting relief, uh, just a regular first aid kit like you'd find in a car or something. Uh, we have some, well, okay, here's probably the most important thing. Um, <laughs> uh, your paper you gotta have that you're gonna be out all day definitely more toilet paper and some hand wipes have it in this little bag here from our local Kawasaki dealer and then we have these dusk mask actually you could these could be a corona mask now too couldn't they but when we were riding in um colorado and when we were um in south dakota it was extremely the the trails were extremely dusty it was super dry and dusty so uh the masks come in handy there we also had some bandanas we would put on over them but i think they have they're probably in the house they got washed so toilet paper <laughs> Dust mask, first aid kit, extra goggles, visine, I think that's your eye drops. And this is just an extra sack here. So there's so typically we'll ride on some of our bigger rides, we will always carry rain suits. They will be in here too. They're not in here now, but uh, on our rides like in Arkansas, it really depends on the weather forecast. If the if there's rain in the forecast, we'll uh we'll carry some um We'll carry some rain suits. Uh, as far as tools, I do carry tools in this machine. I carry tools in my machine too. I'll show you that here in a minute. Here's a tool pack. I made this little pouch. This is where the uh, factory tool pack would sit, which is some of those tools are in here, but I need. I wanted a bigger one. I still wanted to carry it in the same spot. But I wanted to carry just a little bit more stuff, so we'll, we'll show you what we got here. A shop towel, red rag. That's one thing, you never know, wipe, wipe stuff off. That's just a little tool kit. Uh, quarter inch socket set. Was that five millimeter? Five millimeter to 14 millimeter. Quarter inch drive ratchet, small extension. Um, you can see the spark plug socket. Now this is out of the factory set. Your factory, uh, when you buy these machines, they'll come with a little tool kit. And this is the spark plug socket out of that tool kit and this wrench. So we do carry that if I had would have to pull a spark plug. And the rest of this stuff does not come in the tool kit. Small pocket screwdriver, magnetic. And then um, 10 millimeter 
eight millimeter and a uh, yeah, 12 millimeter wrench. Pretty common sizes to do a lot of stuff on the machines. And then up here, well, we just carry gloves up here. This, this is all we're really carrying up here. We carry a bunch of extra pair of gloves. That's the wife's writing gloves. I don't know why we carry so many gloves. I guess you never know. You, you, you lose one or something or somebody's get wet or whatever. But I think we got three or four pairs of gloves in here. And there's also this. So I guess I get these out. Pair of old racing gloves that I cut down. So gloves, we carry like three or four pairs of gloves. And then this here's a tire gauge, which comes in the Yamaha kit. Oh my God, that's small. Which I, I guess it works. I've never tried it out on the trail, but we do have it. So that's what's on here. Gloves, we do carry a electric chainsaw you've probably seen that in the videos so you know about what's in there uh, I don't really have anything in here so I used to put my phone in here but I don't anymore simply because I'm using it as a map now or a GPS uh, safety glasses like I said I wear most of the time I wear sunglasses riding glasses these are some clear ones, like if it gets dark, it's at night, and you want to put your clear glasses on, we'll get it out. And flashlight. Always have a flashlight out there, even even during the daytime. Something goes wrong with your machine, you need to look up in there like that, see? you A flashlight's nice to have, even in the daytime. And, well, you never know, you're going to be out there late at night, too, so. Glasses. First aid kit. Towels, rags, wipe stuff off. Always good to have that. Flashlight. So, we'll move right along. Up here, double A batteries. This unit takes double A batteries, which will need to have extras. Uh, it, it makes a track of where we ride, so that's the reason I really run this to see if we're running in circles or not. <laughs> which we have before. So double A batteries, a strap for your winch to go around something, around a tree or, you know, it, um, go around a tree, hook your winch to it, hook it onto something, whatever, just a strap, a knife. Gotta have a knife out there, you never know. There's really nothing. There's a baggie in there, but there's nothing else in there. So, cut. You never know. You, you always got to have a knife on hand. And how do you close it? There we go. So, okay. Extra strap for your winch. Double A batteries. Um, and a knife. Definitely got to have your knife. So, there's that. I guess I do carry a lot of stuff. I don't know. So that's what's in there. On a, on a always, always is in there. Same thing. It's always there. Like I said, we, it depends on the situation, the weather, and stuff like that. As far as extra clothes and um, rain suits. Now the Grizzly here, the newer. This is a 2015, which the storage is under the seat. So you have to lift the seat up. The newer ones, the new Grizzly, that body style, 16 and up, they have that, which that one doesn't, that's a Kodiak. But they do have that center storage, and I think they have one in the back. <clears throat> this, uh, this body style, it was under the seat. Right here, a tow rope, which I think this little slot here was for your, um, I think the owner's manual was in there. But here's a tow rope. And it's been wet, but it is a tow rope. I guess that would go over here with the rope supplies. You never know. I think we had to tow uh, an old Polaris out one time and some electrical issues. 
So in here I do carry a tool pouch here as well. And there's some more stuff down in there. And in my tool kit, electrical tape. You definitely need some electrical tape. Well, I guess you never know. You're going to need electrical tape. Phillips screwdriver, regular screwdriver, flat blade, Phillips. Um, here, <laughs> this supplies the most important things. These have been used. Well, not these, but tire plugs. And I do have a, a small air compressor in there I'll get out and show you too, but that's probably one of the most important things. I think we've all had a flat tire out on the trail, every one of us. I know I have, the wife has, Grizzly Herm. We've all had cut a tire on a rock or something like that and I had to do a tire repair. Needle nose pliers with small side cutter, regular pair of pliers. So see, I guess this is why I don't really carry the Yamaha tool kit. I have this out of it to do a spark plug and everything else is, um, well, and this, this gauge came in there too, which is so small there, I don't even know if it works, probably worthless. But I do carry more than what would be in that tool kit. Another small knife. And a bunch of zip ties. Well, no, that. That goes with the uh, tire repair kit. Yeah, you gotta have that. And I got a couple of Allen wrenches in here. And this here is the wire off of a center cap. I don't know if you, if you guys haven't seen that video where the uh, player's axle nut came loose. Actually, it was on the front, and we didn't have a cotter pin to put back in the uh, axle nut. So we cut, we took the wire out of one of the center caps and cut it. And I got a new wire, and this is the old one. This I'm still saving it. And a couple of Allen wrenches. This Allen wrench fits that right there, and then that's 10 millimeter, which we have that, so we can pull our foot well off out there. I don't know why this Allen wrench is in there, to be honest with you. I'm not sure what that fits. Oh well. So, some Allen wrenches. So you could use the rest of this for a cotter pin. I don't think these have cotter pins. The, the axle nut is peened down, so. But if you're riding with a Polaris buddy, he may need a cotter pin. You gotta take care care of your Polaris buddies. So that's that's it. And zip ties. So that's in this pouch here. Um, and this is the air compressor. It's in a towel. I, I got it in this baggie. I had this thing pretty deep a couple of times in this. This is not waterproof seal, you know, it's just plastic lid. And water did get in here and got this compressor wet one time. It, it still works, thank God. Or they're really not that expensive if you had to buy another one, but point being, you never know you're gonna, there's another towel, you know, wipe something off, oil on your hands or whatever if you're draining the oil on a Polaris. So I keep it in this bag here. Small air compressor plugs into your 12 volt outlet. Almost all machines have a 12 volt outlet. I have multiple outlets I can plug it in back there. But this has really been a lifesaver. We've used this. It's pretty old. It's been around a while, but it still works. Vibrating a little bit. Now, if you have a flat and you don't have a way to air it back up and patch a tire, you literally got to drive out of the trail on a flat tire. And you, you, you'll end up running it if you run very far on a totally flat tire. So, having an air compressor, that, that's probably one of the most important things. Air compressor, so having it sticky, having tire plugs with you and a way to air them back up, like I said, we've all had that issue over the years. Oh, I actually carry, well I carry fuel. 
if there's actually some fuel left in there. I do carry fuel. I've done a video on this gas jug mount. It's a two gallon jug. Uh, most people do use the uh, Roto Pack, I believe it's called. It's more for more durable and you can mount them somewhere, It'll be like up on your rack. I don't really want to mount anything up here. I like having that there. It's down low, keep everything low, center of gravity. You need to have a winch, at least one person. If you ride alone, then you need to have a winch. If you ride with a group, I would say at least one person in the group should have a winch. You know, because you never know. Ah, okay. Well, that's it, folks. That's what we carry. Hope that answers your questions, or not really answers your questions, but let you all know what we do carry on our rides. Um, questions, comments, leave them below, and thanks for checking out this video. We got a ride trip coming up in about a month, I believe, if it works out. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one, folks.